Hey everybody, um, I'm here to show everybody the quickest way to make a micro mesh in your scene. Okay, so it doesn't matter what object you have. Um, I would, you know, just to test the water and stuff, I would use a low poly uh, item or object. Like right now I've got 720 um, squares on this sphere. And let's make this really, really quickly. In order to make a micro mesh um, uh, at all, you need to initiate or um, go to the render palette and then choose draw micro mesh in the render properties drop down. Okay, that's activated. And then all the way at the bottom of your um, tools palette. On the right, you go down to the uh, right underneath the normal map. You go to display properties, and then turn select micro mesh. Now you can choose anything you want to. Initially, let's choose um, something really, really small. In fact, just to make something really, really small, um, let's go to. Um, Tool. Yeah, make poly mesh 3D. Okay, that makes that. And that puts it into our 3D objects library. So then select micro mesh. And we can either use this one, which has a whole bunch of squares, or we can use this one that has. This is a lot easier for your computer to um, um, figure out and stuff. Now, when I click micro mesh, that's activated. So when I render, in BPR or BPR render, uh, it will render out that sphere on every one of these polygons. So, you know, here, 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 and all the way here, 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 here. Right? Okay. Now it doesn't create 3D geometry. It just creates an image at render time so if you're trying to work on something fancy that you want to look nice you can render okay so let's um, press shift R and this should yeah what that did is it made that sphere on every one of those polygons now if we clicked on side this it would go back to a regular um, sphere because it was just in the render view so Let's try something a little different. I'm not sure what this is going to look like. It, it, this is um, a pretty hard tool to figure out. Oh, that's cool. I like how that looks. Fancy. Nice. Now, if you wanted to make that in like real time and stuff, that might take a while. I'm just, just saying. Uh, cool. Let's try a few more objects. Okay. Uh, deactivate that. Select micro mesh, um, sphere three. Let's try the eight thousand polygon one. See how long that takes render time and stuff. Okay, it's not as bad because our initial sphere or object doesn't have as many polygons, so it doesn't have as many faces to worry about uh, duplicating the um, object on all those times. Huh? That's interesting. Let's see if we turn off polyframe if that has any effect on the render. Okay. Oh, yeah, big time. I had no idea. Cool. That's pretty. Um, let's do some more. Okay, let's do the square. I'm excited to see what this looks like. Okay, I'm going to keep polyframe off just to see if it has, just because it'll have a different result. And it doesn't seem to take as long either. Um, that's cool. Does anybody remember the uh, Super Bowl that recently I totally predicted who would win? If you're not sure, you can check out one of my videos and stuff because I, I totally nailed out. In ZBrush, I laid out the entire game on a 3D um, football field. It was pretty cool. Yeah, so if you can track that down, watch it 50 times just to remember the Super Bowl and stuff. But anyway, they had a commercial on it that had uh, those um, oh, good good wheel tires or good something tires. Um, uh, oh, the, the, the tire company that, um, 
they used ZBrush to make the football have the tire look to it, or uh, basketball, sorry. So when you bounce the basketball, it's very, very quiet. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Now let's see what polyframe, how different that looks. Ooh, pretty cool. Shift R. Oh, no, sorry. I don't want to do that again. Uh, let's try putting some color on this and see if that affects it at all. Okay, RGB. Let's, okay, yeah. Uh, color, fill object. Deselect that to see what it is. Let's put like a little happy, happy face on here and see if that transfers over. Okay, definite happy face. Okay, now it will. Oh, we gotta. Um, yeah. Make polymesh 3D. Okay. So let's go back to that. And then select micro mesh. Yeah, this one. Okay, now it, it should render out those little smiley faces all over it. I'm excited. Oh yeah, it's just on the inside. I'm not, um, let's try flip. Let's see what that does. Shift R. What flip does is, if anybody's used 3ds Max, um, if you're trying to see the inside of a room, something like that, it's impossible because the box is, um, covering everything. But if you flip the polygons, it shows you the inside of the box or whatever object you're, yay, now we've got a happy face on the inside. Yeah, but this display properties down here, that's where you flip your object, so that's a nice little helpful hint. Okay, Shift R. Yay, cool, that worked. Fancy. Now, uh, believe it or not, I took the time and I drew little teeny happy faces. Oh, on, let's do that again. I drew little teeny happy faces uh, all over the place. <laughs> Um, draw resolution. Let's increase that a little bit. That might affect render time. Not too much. Um, interesting. Okay, double. Let's see if that has any effect. I don't know. Not much that I can see. Um, DPR transparent shading. Now this this does affect it a little bit, so watch this. It makes it transparent, kind of uh, hollow or something. DPR visibility. Okay, let's go to one, so it'll be barely visible. Nice, but you can still see it, right? It's fancy. Cool, this is the rundown on um, micro mesh. Cool. It works. Okay, zero, uh, cast v VPR shadows. Let's do 100%, see what that does. Oh! Okay. Oh, yeah! Right on. Uh, you know sometimes when you're rendering, rendering an object in ZBrush, and it's got that, like, shadow that it's hard to uh, edit out in Photoshop or another program to, um, I don't know. But that, that is where you can adjust the shadow intensity or visibility of it at all. Okay, so BPR. Huh. Um, let's, let's make uh, something with, ooh, okay, let's take our happy face and control fill object to yellow and then okay huh. um oh okay inflate that's not okay this this will work nope why is it not working oh I've got the wrong I don't know ah I don't know um, let's see, yeah, okay, there we go, now invert, and then go to deformation, and then inflate, 
let's do that in the negative a few times. Okay, now let's see what this does to our BPR sphere or whatever. Okay, make polymix 3D. Okay. Now go back to the sphere. Then select micro mesh. And then select what we just created. Okay, then shift R and see how cool that looks. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, let's uh, flip it and see if it looks different. Shift R. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, so let's select another. Yeah, let's do this. The star thing. Maybe that'll be cool. Fun! I could use that for a card. Yay. Okay, let's see what the others would do. This might look a little strange. So shift R. Ta-da. Yay. Seashells sphere. Okay, that was fun. So now... Blah. Okay, let's do this. And this looks pretty cool. And then let's use this. Fancy, I like that. That's cool. Sweet. And this. Yay. Cool. That's nice. I like that one. Now, let's try... Yeah, let's do something flat. See how that... The, the square did something, so maybe this could... I don't know. I didn't really catch that. Oh, it was inverted, so it wouldn't show up. So now, it will... It will, um... Now it'll show up. Huh. Um, maybe. I don't know. It probably doesn't have enough geometry to do anything. So, star. I know I've done this already, but it's it's fun. Yay! Hershey's. Fancy. Okay. Um, and we'll do one more before we exit. Ring 3D. Let's see what this looks like. That's cool. I like that. Oh, no more, no more. Okay, that's fun. Cool. I will be studying this um, micro mesh feature a little bit more. And if anybody likes these videos and wants to see more of them, please subscribe. And I would would be glad to make as many as I can. And thanks for watching.